is ready to see my Barbie apartment today. Hi Barbie girls, I'm Mrs. Barbie. Today I'm doing a big, big room tour for my Barbie apartment. I said big, but my Barbie apartment is really, really tiny, just like a doll size. But I'm going to show you the very, very detail today. I posted the last room tour video literally like three months ago, but this time I decided to show you even more details. Like usually my room tour video is like around 20 minutes, but today I'm sure it's gonna be way longer because I will show you every single detail. So this room tour video is gonna be the craziest and the most awesome one ever. The best room tour video ever. I hope you enjoy watching this and why don't we just start? Let's go. So let me show you my favorite area. My Barbie kitchen area. So when you come here, first of all, the tiles are checkered with blush pink and pastel pink. And here you see the Barbie fridge. Barbie fridge with 80s logo. I also have Barbie magnet. Even Barbie doesn't have Barbie fridge. <laughs> yeah, and then Barbie toaster oven. I customized with decal yeah so i have a decal machine called silk white camel i use that cutting machine with vinyl sheets so i can make this this cereal box from 80s <laughs> this one is just for display you know it's empty yeah there's more barbie canisters barbie boxes my barbie lunch box from when I was in high school. Yeah, more Barbie plates and some Barbie art on the wall. These little canvas are from Japan. And Barbie Moschino art. And maybe more Barbie stuff. Oh, Barbie heels, salt and pepper shaker, and little teapot. A Barbie teapot. Keep calm and be a Barbie. <laughs> and more barbie decals and barbie lunch bag barbie shelf the diy barbie shelf this let's go this way the barbie oven is <laughs> not cute i put cupcake pink cupcake uh oh looks dirty <laughs> i need to clean but please don't judge me because i cook literally a lot i cook pretty often the barbie placemat so that bar <laughs> on the stove top I paint it into pink. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this one is my brand new DIY. Barbie rice cooker. I've never shown you in any other room tour yet. Yeah, so it's a rice cooker. And I paint it here into pink. Then and there's my Barbie nice DIY. <laughs> and some dessert plates. I have more candies, sprinkles for my bacon. There's no cake inside right now, but I often bake. So you gotta check my Barbie cooking playlist. The Barbie kettle, Barbie blender, the pink paper towel you can get from Amazon. And you can check my Amazon store if you want. Amazon.com slash shop slash Azusa Barbie. And you can check the stuff. Pink knife stand. I put Barbie and I also painted here the big Barbie there and also here my favorite favorite kitchen counter of course my DIY so it's not just painted but I covered with resin this is one of my favorite favorite DIY I've ever done so I cut out Barbie sketch from Barbie calendar and put decals and it covered with resin and also I painted the sink as well and cute kitchen mitten. My sister-in-law, she made it for me. Above kitchen, I have DIY Barbie light and Barbie silhouette poster. Yeah, I love this one a lot. And all pink kitchen tools. Oh yeah, dish sponge. Yes, this one is officially Barbie. <laughs> Barbie pink pants. I really use them for my pink food cooking. So I have Barbie cooking playlist, so I often post pink food cooking video. But of course I eat some other stuff. I eat boring food as well. 
But when I started having this cute Barbie kitchen, I was like, hmm, I don't want to cook just boring food in this Barbie kitchen because this is too cute. So that's how I just started making some cute looking food. That's only why, you know. So don't worry about my health. I'm not eating pink food every single day, so don't worry about me. But right now I'm drinking pink coffee. So I mostly use beet powder for my pink food cooking. You wanna see it? I buy a restaurant size of beet powder. So I use this beet powder for my most of my pink food cooking. Only when it doesn't work because of ingredients or method I have to use food color sometimes but I always try to make it healthier as possible more barbie cabinet so recently I started making the inside barbie nice as well but it's not done yet so I should maybe I should finish during quarantine huh oh and also did you notice this cup don't ask Kim mug it's my march yeah i have my march on etsy store you can check this yeah don't ask him because i do like a lot of diy and i really want to show girls we barbie girls can be super independent and we don't need to ask ken to do anything this is my major quote for myself don't ask ken we can do it barbie dolls more barbie magnet i didn't show you but these are all barbie cups too oh yeah let me show you my favorite barbie cup in plates maybe uh, for plate i really love this barbie jonathan adler plate because it looks fancy <laughs> but also i like this acrylic one from Japan yeah it's super simple but I like it for this play I have three different colors pink white and black full cup yeah so I just showed you this Barbie coffee mug I like this one and also I like this from Hallmark as well oh, for tea cup I like the cute Oh, Barbie glass. I have so many Barbie glasses. Hard to pick one, but I like this one. It's pink glass. No, it's not plastic. It's not acrylic or plastic. It's glass. So I like this too. Oh, hard to show you, but it says Barbie. Everything is fabulous in pink. XOX. <laughs> Absolutely. 100% agree. I want to show you another plate quick. I told you that this video was going to be super super special room tour than ever. I'm showing you everything. I like this Barbie plate. I have two different kinds actually. When I make big cake or something, I always put on this one. Oh, and from kitchen, I need to show this. Even Ziploc, zip bag. Mine is Barbie. It's not available anymore, yeah. I'm still keeping this. It's from several years ago, but I use this only when I really, really need to use. It's special Ziploc. Barbie lunchbox, like a bento box. That's from Japan. The Japanese people bring lunch in this type of bento box. So even inside of cabinet, I have a lot of Barbie stuff. Yeah, let's move this side. Towards the ceiling, I have some pink boxes from 80s and early 90s they're my version of fashionistas <laughs> hi girls they're all cute yeah i mostly style them into pink or pink and black here's a barbie clock it came out like mostly like this the clothes were like this I just painted the numbers part and I customized the centerpiece part. That's it. And I have Barbie team box, Barbie calendar from Hallmark, and even more Barbie mugs. And here's my little candy bar. Thank hey, you. The bottle from Barbie Tokyo Sky Tree when they collaborated last year yeah oh my god these are another of my favorite barbie sugar thinner collaboration aren't they cute so they used to have different candies inside of the box but now i put different things because i had to <laughs> eat them yeah so now they have different candies inside but I just kept boxes more barbie candies and candles the candles are from fragrant draw i burned two of them before but i still have one here 
I'm not gonna burn this one. I will keep it. <laughs> the Barbie tray. It's DIY item. They look cute. Barbie wallet. I don't know why I have a wallet here. <laughs> And Barbie microwave, my favorite mar Barbie microwave. It's my second one. The first one broke, unfortunately, but still like second edition. My YouTube plug from when I got 100,000. Now I want to have million followers. Those, please help me. Share my channel with your friends and family and everyone <laughs> so I can get million. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have pink Barbie cotton candy machine. Sometimes I eat it, but usually it's like a like whole candy pot. So I'm a professional nail artist and I take my clients here. So there are so many nail polish. Well, I don't use regular nail polish. I use mostly gel, but these are all Barbie nail polish and gel. And they're cute. Yeah, these are display. I wanted to show you these nail polish and gel. The Barbie gel close up. I never use these like a regular nail polish actually. I just wanted to show you this cute nail polish. Oh Barbie. And another one from NCLA Barbie. And these are gel type. Very, very cute. You see more Barbie. Oh yeah, here is rare Barbie Moschino. I have both. Yeah, these are my favorite too. And some other Barbie doors. And Barbie table. And I have pink chair with Barbie pillow. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. So it's the paint I use for painting my wall and some other part like shelf. I use this brown B E H R. Darkest pink I always use is this color beauty queen it looks like tablecloth but actually it's a banner from Toys R Us I got this when they closed down I bought on eBay Caputo Barbie collection <laughs> yeah I was doing some DIY last night so I still have this Caputo left here so look at this hard print nail it match to this girl's outfit this is my hobby one of my hobby so i make nails for barbie these are human size nail tips can you see but they are inspired by barbie's outfit can you tell which nail design is for which barbie if you're a barbie collector probably it's pretty easy can you recognize any of them Oh yeah, this one is label, so you can tell. See, Twilight Gala, Martini Day, Pre-Fabry Pink, Pop Icon Barbie. Now you know what I was saying, right? Yeah, so these are nail tips inspired by Barbie's fashion. I want to be an exclusive nail artist for Barbie. This space you probably think I was putting some random notebooks, right? But you know me. Of course, these are all Barbie notebook. All Barbie notebook. Some of them I already use, but some of them still in package. Moleskin. The Moleskin is from a couple years ago, so you might still find online. Oh, it's a cute book from Japan. Barbie's English. <laughs> It's like a little Barbie was teaching us English. <laughs> little English textbook. More Barbie notebook. And more. And more. Upside down. <laughs> like some binder file. Oh, licensed Barbie. I have a couple mini me. Um, she's a one of. I rerouted her hair by myself. She used to have blonde hair, but I rerouted pink hair and made space buns. And today I, I'm having my hair down, but I often wear space bun like she does. So yeah, she's definitely my mini. And I have a couple more doors here with Barbie wall decor. I got the huge decals from Amazon. And here, my midi me. Yeah, I call her midi me, medium size me. Yeah, 
So I customized my size Barbie. Again, she used to have blonde hair as well. And she didn't have bangs before, but I cut her bangs. <laughs> Also, I painted her eyes. So, yeah, so she looks a little more like me. Hi, Midi Me. Now, let me show you some of my Barbie doll collection. I right now have uh, like 360 dolls, I think. Yeah, I know I don't have much as a collector. Yeah, I have so many friends who have over 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 dolls. But I mean, of course I love Barbie dolls. But to me, Barbie is more about fashion and like pop icon, like culture icon. Barbie is more like lifestyle for me. So I'm not just doll collector. I spend more time, money, and my energy over whole my life, not just collecting dolls. But I still have some dolls here. And of course I have some favorite. So I think I'm gonna show you some of them today. I showed you Moschino Barbie earlier in the boxes, but I have another girl. Yeah, so since I got two of them, so I opened one Caucasian girl. The girls here are all my favorite. And my top favorite is probably this girl. I always tell people, yeah, she's my favorite girl. Movie Mixer Barbie, the Silk Stone. I love Silk Stone. Yeah, so my favorites are the ones in pink gowns and pink dresses. But of course, I have some other favorite with non-pink dresses as well. I have more favorites here. Cute girl. Two girls back there. Namie Amuro Barbie dolls. They are pretty rare. On the back, there's vintage crepe shop. Galaxy theme. More dolls. Here's one from Japanese convention this year. Isn't she gorgeous? I created Barbie gym. <laughs> they are all working out hard. And little cute bakery. And Barbie band. <laughs> sometimes I unbox and sometimes I don't. So there are some Barbie doors still in mint condition in the boxes. Toki Doki Barbie. Birthday wishes. Tarina Tarantino. Hello Kitty. Juicy Couture. And some more pink boxes. These are like like a triple rose, so there are even more on the back. <laughs> Let's go this side now. So here is my uh, random Barbie shop. Yeah, I literally put like everything, <laughs> something random, like a little display. Yeah, and I change here pretty often, you know, for some little cute stuff. Uh, especially my favorite is so this girl. It's a Barbie light. Barbie champagne, giant Barbie pads. Ta da! The Barbie neon light. My favorite light. Yeah, I love that light. And another Barbie light. Convention doll from Europe and Japan. From last year, Barbie music box and some keychain. Pink guitar. And here is crazy big Barbie banner from 80s. And here, my favorite Barbie desk. And I DIY this desk. I love this. The glass is Barbie glass. Yeah, my silky mini me, my silk stone mini. And she pretty. The doll planet, Diana, she made her for me. And here, Barbie art, Barbie sketch, and little Barbie vanity. <laughs> Yoga Barbie. More girls. <sighs> Macron box from La Durée. It's of course it's already empty, but I love this. Yeah, and also my favorite book from Barbie style. Yeah, this is the cutest book. I have more Barbie books over there, like more and more, but this one is my favorite. And also this book. It's Japanese one. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I love this book. And Barbie shoe book end. 
Oh yeah, I am today. I wanted to show you. And let me show you this magazine. So when I went back to Japan last month, so I finally picked these magazines, which I was featured in. Look, this is my room. They were writing about like Barbie stuff. Um, yeah, I was also featured. I'm so, so happy. So not just one. Can I show you a little bit? So here's another one. These are all Japanese magazines. And of course, I know all of these, you know. And more. Yeah, I'm here. And more. Yep. I was so, so happy. I'm so proud of myself. I have been in a magazine like a couple times before, but these are like something so awesome. Yeah. I have more to show you. This is my another favorite DIY. <laughs> I know about this. This is my laptop. Cup water, Barbie stuff. I know everything I have is literally Barbie. Anyway, so this table is coffee table. The Barbie coffee table. So it used to be like just regular wooden coffee table. I put all different Barbie sketches or like I cut out from calendar or magazine. And I covered with resin. So, see, this is hard. Even Barbie doesn't have this. <laughs> so, in my room, I have pink carpet and also I have Barbie rug <laughs> and Barbie chair. And oh my god, this side, I have to show you this my favorite blind, vertical blind. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I know it's pretty huge. I even put the top part into Barbie and again I used Silhouette Cameo, the cutting machine for Barbie logo part and here is my bed. My duvet cover is Barbie, it's from Primark and there's a whole bunch of Barbie pillows. I know, I have a lot. So, oops, <laughs> that's my March, but all others are Barbie. Yeah, so when I go to bed, I have to squeeze them so I can, you know, sleep. There's a Barbie poster. Love that style Barbie. I got it from Zazzle. And there's the cutest, cutest Barbie AC. I know, even Barbie doesn't have Barbie AC, but I do. <laughs> yeah, this side. Oh, yeah, so my apartment is on the edge of the building, so I have two windows, even I live in a small room. Another window, so I put different style of design. Again, yeah, this is my DIY blind. I made each sticker and I placed them one by one. Yeah, and I put them all together. Actually, here it's not done. I wanna, I'm thinking to put some night table or something. Moschino Barbie doll with Cara's art graph. One of my treasure. And so here I have pink shelf from Ikea. Then I use this shelf as a partition between my bed area and my kitchen area. Um, these are actually the perfect size for putting those Barbie 50th anniversary, my favorite Barbie series. I love these. So these are Ripple, you know, not vintage. But still, I just love how they put each doll with accessory in the box. You know, these are like something you don't want to open. These are beautiful. Maybe from these, my favorite is Barbie Rockers and Peaches and Cream. Whoa, but I also like Swirl Ponytail. Oh yeah, I also like Superstar. I mean, I like everything, I know, of course. Number one Barbie. She is gorgeous. She is always gorgeous. And Barbie Rob. B-A-R-B-I-E. Barbie. -E, Barbie. <laughs> and here's another little dresser. And here's some Barbie jewelries. Something I DIY or something I bought. Or like Barbie rings. Barbie earrings. Like random stuff. These are all Barbie pins and oh my god, it's so messy. I need to organize, huh? The Barbie watch. And you know what? These, those Barbie watches are like, they're not broken, but they need to replace badly. Like all of them. I know it's crazy. And more Barbie stuff. Old Barbie stuff. 
Here is my Barbie purse shelves. I love Barbie. I love Barbie. Look. And these are not all of them because I ha still have more in my closet. But these are something like my favorite stuff. And I bought these all from different stores. Like from something from Mattel, from China, from Primark, and Barbie from Japan, and Paul's Boutique, Unique Vintage, all from different brands. Play No More, Choco Shuffle, Barbie Harajuku, Barbie Los Angeles, Number One Doll, Ken Soul Separate. <laughs> this one is one of my favorite. And this one, I customized the one from Misguided. It was a clear, plain clear clutch with pink Barbie cursive logo, but I put Swarovski one by one. And on the back side is pink ombre. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I DIY. Oh, this one is my another favorite. So it's a clutch from Charlotte Olympia when they collaborated with Barbie. Probably it's the most expensive Barbie purse I have. It was like 1400 I remember. And it was... The inside is beautiful gold with mirror. It's very, very beautiful. Yeah, another Barbie purse. More Barbie. Oh yeah, and this one is... It's my favorite. Yeah, Moschino Barbie purse. See, it has gold chain, so you can use as crossbody. But of course, you could use as envelope shaped clutch bag. Since I really love this collaboration, so I got another type, like a square crossbody one. Barbie gumball machine. <laughs> they must be expired because I never eat them. And here, Barbie sketch from my friend Miffy. And some little stuff. I need to organize a little bit. Now here's Barbie closet. The DIY Barbie closet. Yeah, I DIY this closet. And I have some doors. Crystal Lamb. Puma Barbie. There's another of my favorite Barbie backpack. And this Ali, little Ali. I still put some Barbie purses. <laughs> and down there, I have two Barbie drawers. You must want to see inside. I will show you this today. Let's open from the bottom. This one has more black Barbie sweater and sweatshirts. And some little different colors. These are all Barbie brand. I only put Barbie brand clothes in these drawers. This drawer has all pink color Barbie sweater and sweatshirts. But these are all from different brand but from Barbie Harajuku, Cecil McBee from Japan, the Barbie again, from Barbie Harajuku again. Yeah, yeah from Forever 21, from Amelia Worth, from Misguided, from Macy's, from Ugly Duckling. I remember everything. Oh from Route 21. Anyway, uh these are all Barbie brand. Let me show you my favorite Barbie sweater maybe. Recently, I really like this sweatshirt I got from Forever 21. Yeah, this one I love. I really love. And also, oh, this one too. Yeah, so this one is from Barbie Harajuku. Barbie and Ken. The fabric looks really cool. Yeah, pretty color. Yeah, with 80s logo. This one looks casual, but I still love it, yeah. You know, I'm not trying to be like Barbie, I just love Barbie. But I feel a lot of empathy with Barbie still. Like me and Barbie both enjoy all different types of fashion. Like we both wear sometimes casual, sometimes girly, sometimes little edgy, sometimes classy. Me and Barbie both love fashion. I don't like to be categorized into one group. That's why I felt some empathy with Barbie about fashion part. Some people totally misunderstand if I only wear into pink, in pink. But actually, I also wear black and white as long as they have Barbie. <laughs> It's a cute sweater, isn't it? The sleeves are mesh. 
I love this one. I got this from uh, again from Barbie Harajuku. Yeah, they used to have store called Barbie Harajuku, like officially licensed by Barbie for grown up girl. Yeah, it was in Tokyo, but unfortunately they closed down several years ago. I'm so sad. I'm like really sad. Do you also want to see uh, some maybe black sweater? Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, I should show you this. Like, see? Barbie. It's from, again, Forever 21. Yeah. yeah, I wear black too. They just need to be Barbie, but I still wear black. Yeah, my theme is not just pink, but my theme is Barbie. Oh my gosh, and here, I really need to show you this. So, I have around 200 Barbie t-shirts, just with t-shirts. So this side is all pink, yeah, this side is all white. They are all Barbie t-shirts and all licensed. See, you can see Barbie. <laughs> I can tell, it's from 80s logo, it's 90s logo, and it's original cursive logo. <laughs> it's like a quiz. I know you cannot see like whole print, but I can still tell, you know, where I put what. You know, I'm pretty organized. Huh, what's my favorite? I literally have too many Barbie shirts, so I really cannot pick one favorite. But I can show you some of my favorite. Well, you might think I'm boring, but I really love this very basic style. I got this from Mattel Toy Store in El Segundo. I just love this design because it's so Barbie. White cursive logo with Barbie pink. That's perfect. And also... I like, I like this one too. I wake up awesome. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, and this. I also love this. It's a proudly pink Barbie shirt. I bought this shirt from Barbie convention last year, 2019. So last year was Barbie's 60th anniversary. And this doll was special silkstone doll for 60th anniversary. And I love this girl a lot. When they made this t-shirt, I was like, I have to get it. <laughs> so I got it. And this top drawer has, these are all Barbie, needless to say. But like Barbie shorts, yeah, some Barbie outfit, Barbie scarves, the Barbie swimsuit and some Barbie pajama, they're thin material one and Barbie bodysuit, yeah, these are all Barbie these two drawers are still under process for organizing so I don't want to really show but here it has white, all white Barbie sweater and sweatshirts, yeah, only Barbie and I know this drawer looks messy but these are all Barbie black shirts <laughs> messy, messy. Let me show you my inside of my closet. <laughs> From top to bottom, <laughs> it's full. I know, it's really full. So on the top, I have more Barbie purses and some Barbie blanket, onesie, and all Barbie sweatpants. These are all Barbie. Yeah, black and pink, but a lot of Barbie sweatpants, I know. And here, oh my gosh, you wanna see these dresses stuff? Most of them are Barbie. So all of them are either Barbie or pink. The Barbie, Barbie, Barbie dress, Barbie dress. <laughs> and some dresses, let me show you. Like this one, like it doesn't have any Barbie logo outside, but look. It's still Barbie, like shirt dress. I have a lot of clothes like this one. So like, doesn't look, see, doesn't say Barbie, but still officially Barbie. But of course I have super, super Barbie nice dress as well. Oh, this one is one of my favorite dress. It's white, but look, all dessert print. And it's from Barbie as well. Dessert plus Barbie. Those are my favorite, favorite. Barbie pajama shirt. Barbie. And more Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> and Barbie. <laughs> Barbie. And Barbie. <laughs> Barbie. Barbie. 
Barbie or pink. Well, actually, these are licensed Barbie clothes, actually. Barbie, more Barbie. And down here, I have more clothes, Barbie, Barbie, and more sneakers. <laughs> I also have another side, but this side is a little bit messy and I don't want to show you today. I'm sorry about that. When I reorganize, I will show you. This side. I have even more Barbie purses. This one is my another favorite. It's a small one and crossbody. Uh, when I go out, like a girl's night out, it's a perfect one. This one looks cute too, look. Has Barbie buckle and a Barbie print on the side. More Barbie purse. Some months of Vega. Has no logo on the front, but look. Cute. And some random Barbie stuff here. Hi, Barbie. Let me show you. And here I have more Barbie shoes. So I can show you. Charlotte Olympia Barbie shoes. These are definitely one of my favorite Barbie shoes. <laughs> so it has vintage look Barbie on the upper and has all crystals with pink satin and the heel. Like, look at this chunky heels. Huge acrylic heel. And there's another. Charlotte Olympia shoes. This one looks so cute too. Look, Barbie shoes on Barbie shoes. This type has more thinner pin heel with mesh upper. It's really pretty. I remember these are like 400 for each pair. I know the price is not pretty. <laughs> yeah, and another Barbie shoes. It's from Emilia with from Japan. Look at this pink bow, so Barbie. And pink satin upper and the heel has light pink jewels. Look, look at this crazy bling bling. I love this one too. I have another pair from the House of Avenues. Yeah, the 60th anniversary design. In the camera, it looks more reddish, but it's a pink enough in a person. And some more pink shoes and boots and a heel. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are pretty mess, but these are all Barbie tote bag hanging. Like these are literally all Barbie purses. Like more and more and more. <laughs> and I see another one back there. Wow. Oh yeah, this one was a really popular one from Forever 21. And here I have some Barbie purses. It's from Les Suck. It's from Primark. Yeah, there are Barbie and Nick Strap. It's a Barbie folding umbrella. Yeah, another one, another folding umbrella. I got both of these from Japan like years ago. I painted like checkered. They used to be all white but I painted some into Barbie pink so now it looks like checkered. I have some shoes, the Barbie slide. These are real Barbie shoes. Look, the original Barbie I got from the House of Avenues. What's from last year? 2019. These are all I got from Japan. Yeah, these, these are pretty new from Forever 21. I got these recently. And Barbie Puma. I also have black one. Actually, I've never worn these. <laughs> these are like really clean. And these are Melissa and Jeremy Scott collaboration. <laughs> they literally look like a Barbie shoes. Don't you think? Like a the form, the shape is literally Barbie shoes. I love Jeremy Scott. He's one of my favorite designer. These are also officially Barbie shoes. I never wore these because these are a little too small for me, but these are cute enough for display. Barbie Randa. And this shoe bench is my DIY Barbie shoe bench. And more shoes up there 
Oh yeah, there is another Barbie shoes from House of Avenue. The original Barbie. <laughs> These are so cute, right? Don't you love this? I love this heel. Heel looks like a gumball. Looks so cute. Yeah, the Barbie art from Bodan. And some little frame of Barbie shoes and purses. These are all DIY. Right now, the background is brown, but I've been always thinking about changing the background. Ground, so they will pop more so many shoes so little time quotes from barbie here the switch cover is barbie this one is licensed yeah i got this from zazzle website but unfortunately they don't sell barbie things anymore so i live in the small studio apartment in west hollywood california it's been five years since i moved to this apartment so i'm renting this apartment but i did so much customizing i painted everywhere and i've done so much diy here but my landlord is okay with that because she knows that i'm not moving out <laughs> anyway so here's so my door is pink and it has barbie decal and here <laughs> my diy oddly hip burn art frame this oddly used to wear a black dress with black gloves and even the frame was black the background was already pink i painted her dress into pink and put the barbie logo decals and also i painted her gloves into blush pink then i sprayed pink glitter on the frame yeah so it's all diy and plus look these drawers i put some swarovski crystals so her necklace look like bling bling <laughs> So this is my very very favorite art. Then underneath that's a Barbie puzzles. I love this puzzles a lot. And I have some doors up there. Barbie license plate. The top one I got from Barbie convention a couple of years ago. And the bottom one doll collection drive. I remember I got this one on Amazon. And it's a door for bathroom. I have Barbie wall decor here. And now let me show you my bathroom. Ta da! <laughs> Everything you see here is Barbie. Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. <laughs> Barbie candle. I will never use this. Barbie canister, lotion, and same method as my kitchen counter. So I also did bathroom countertop. More Barbie is here. And hand soap is Barbie. Yeah, it's officially Barbie. Some Barbie hair stuff. And down here is, here it's also Barbie. I have DIY video for this. This switch cover is DIY. <laughs> yeah, not a Barbie shelf, of course DIY. And this mirror cabinet. When you open, so here's Barbie. Yeah, this side is worth to see it. These are all, well not all, some of them are just pink, but like most of them are Barbie cosmetics. You see them, right? Barbie. Barbie cutie coil, Barbie lip pencil, Barbie lip gloss, Barbie makeup brushes, Barbie lipsticks from Pure Cosmetics, and Barbie lipsticks from MAC. Eyeshadow palette from Pure, lipstick from LCLA, perfume stick, hand lotion from Japan, glittery mask, contact lens case, Barbie perfume. <laughs> yeah, I think I organized this cabinet well. And on this side, I have Barbie towels. When you close the door, I have Barbie robe. These are all Barbie robe. Yeah, and Barbie pajama. A lot, I know. And more Barbie decals, Barbie poster. 
And here, down here, is these little shelves are for Barbie cosmetic bags. These are part of them, but you know, I think I'm organizing pretty well. I have some Barbie blow dryer. And you see my favorite Barbie shower curtain. When you open it, ta da! So my bathtub is Barbie. Not cute. The inside look like this. I need to clean, so don't look closer. <laughs> After I did my bathroom, I love taking bath even more. I just love this area. So what did you think about my Barbie apartment? I think this time I showed you even more, but I know I couldn't show you everything yet. That's why I will keep making videos for you guys. At the end, you will catch up with everything. Or it will never happen because I will keep doing DIY and I will keep buying more Barbie stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel and like my video, leave the comment. If you have an Instagram account, please follow me there as well so you will never miss my latest update.